Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from the chapter Biphasic Liquid Dosage Form Emulsions. From the chapter Emulsions, this is one of the important chapter in the pharmaceutics. Most of the competitive exams question paper, you can see some questions from the chapter Emulsions. So we will move to the first question. Before that, if you didn't subscribe until now my channel, please press the subscription button and also press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever I upload new videos regarding pharmacy subject as well as uh, pharmacy job related videos. So you can expect more videos in coming days also. So we will, do, we will move to the first question. The globule size in the emulsion. The globule size in the emulsion. Options are 0 0.25 to 25 micron, 1 to 20 micron, 0 0.1 to 20 micron, 10 to 50 micron. The correct answer for this one is, in case of emulsion, the globule size varies from 0 0.25 to 25 micron. Option A is the correct answer. In emulsion, this one 0 0.25 to 25 micron. But in case of suspension, this one already talked in the suspension video that uh, video which is uh, we discussed earlier in that we discussed 0.5 to 5 micron that is the size of solid particle in the suspension here in the globule size in the emulsion is 0.25 to 25 micron we will move to the next question question number 2 the whiteness of the whiteness of the emulsion is due to options are reflection, refraction, both A and B, coloring agent. The correct answer for this question is the whiteness of an emulsion is due to the reflection as well as refraction. The correct answer is both A and B. Emulsion is emulsion is a liquid biphasic liquid preparation biphasic that means two phase are there that means in case of suspension also it is biphasic but one phase is solid one phase is liquid in this section biphasic dosage form here one is both are liquid dosage form both the both phases are liquid dosage form they are both are immiscible liquids one of which is re dispersed as a minute globules in other that is emulsion okay in emulsion is biphasic liquid dosage form there are two type two liquid dosage form they are immiscible each other so one liquid dosage liquid dosage form is dispersed as a minute globules in another we will move to the next question question number three micro emulsion micro emulsion the word micro emulsion are formed using the glo using of globule size options are about 10 nanometer about uh, 10 micron about 1000 nanometer 1000 nanometer and the option d about one micron so question is micro emulsion is formed using the globule size correct answer is about 10 nanometer is the correct answer micro emulsion now we will move to the next question question number four if the globule appears a rut here the question globule appears rut and the ground appear colorless under the dye test then the emulsion is Question is one more time I will read globule appears red and the ground appears colorless under the dye test then the emulsion is option oil in water type water in oil type both A and B flocculated suspension the correct answer for this question is globules are appeared in red and colorless background the ground appears colorless then the correct answer is oil in water oil in water type that is the emulsion so for the identification there are two types of emulsion first of all i'll tell you two type of emulsion is there one is oil in water another one is water in oil in case of oil in water dispersed phase is oil and continuous phase is water in case of water in oil dispersed phase is water and Dispersion, uh, dispersion medium that is uh, uh, continuous phase is oil 
I think this thing everyone knows this thing so we will move to next one like two types are there so for the identification of the type of emulsion that is one emulsion is given you have to identify which is this emulsion is which type that is oil in water or water in oil for the identification there are four methods one is dilution method this is also important dilution method second one is dye test in that question it was related to dye test this one if the globule appear red and ground colorless under the dye test then the emulsion is oil in water type so the second type is dye test and the third type is conductivity test conductivity test conductivity test and fourth is fluorescence fluorescence test they, these are the different type of uh, test for the identification of emulsion so in case of dye test this one uh, globules appear red uh, this is the question that was the question in dye test the dye used is scarlet dye scarlet dye okay now we will move to the next question question number five who introduced HLB scale HLB scale hydrophilic uh, lipophilic uh, balance HLB scale Hydro hydrophilic lipophilic balance options are stock griffin smith oswald the correct answer is griffin in case of hlb scale it's uh, uh, classified in, uh, it's divided into 18 units hlb scale is divided into 18 units out of this first one that's why hlb value if it is less this is called uh, lipophilic and if it is higher uh, that is uh, with a higher number hlb value higher then that is uh, hydrophilic it will form lesser value lesser value is lesser value is lipophilic lipophilic emulsion lipophilic but higher value that is near 18 higher value higher value it is hydrophilic 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 emulsion this will form water in oil this is oil in water okay it's high lipophilic property and it will help in the uh, produce in the produce oil in water type emulsion sorry water in oil term emulsion higher value is hydrophilic property with indicates hydrophilic property and it form produce oil in water oil in water lesser value and higher value lesser value means uh, about to 8 to 8, 3 to 16 3 i mean 3 to 6 3 to 6 3 to 6 and here it is 8 to 18 higher value 8 to 18 I hope you understood HLB value is uh, HLB scale is uh, divided into 18 units from the the lesser value that is uh, almost 3 to 6 uh, produces water in oil type emulsion with the lipophilic properties what higher value that is 18 to 18 then it will uh, have hydrophilic property hydrophilic property and it will produce oil in water type emulsion now we will move to the next question question number six emulsion with the lower number of hlb will produce this already we discussed in now lower number of hlb will produce dash type of emulsion if it is lower number it is lipophilic in nature then lipophilic in nature so it will form water in oil type water in oil type the option b is the correct answer next one option next question question number seven example for emulsifying agent from animal source emulsifying agent from animal source from animal source the options are pectin methyl cellulose gelatin carbovaxes the correct answer for this question is gelatin this is important emulsifying agent is classified into different types emulsifying agents are classified into one is natural type uh, natural type then semi synthetic semi synthetic semi synthetic then synthetic synthetic then inorganic inorganic 
then alcohol 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 naturally is again classified into vegetable source and animal source one is vegetable source then another one is animal source example for vegetable source as we studied in the case of uh, suspension uh, gum acacia vegetable source is gum acacia then tragacanth tragacanth then starch etc will come under this one agar pectin all are coming in natural vegetative source in animal source it will come gelatin now that was the question gelatin then egg yolk egg yolk egg yolk are the different example for the animal natural source in case of semi synthetic methyl cellulose methyl cellulose methyl cellulose then sodium carboxy methyl cellulose are example for semi synthetic in case of synthetic it is classified into again classified into anionic then cationic then non ionic like it is classified into three types cationic anionic and non ionic in the case of inorganic it is example are milk of magnesia magnesium oxide magnesium oxide magnesium tricyclate examples are for the inorganic emulsifying agent in case of alcohol carboxyl lecithin lecithin is one of the good example lecithin carboxyl here it is carboxyl also coming under alcohol now this synthetic anionic cationic non ionic this is also one important question this one example for this one is very important now afterwards we will see the examples for this one now we will move to the next question question number 8 what is the ratio of oil in water gum oil is to water is to gum for the preparing almond oil suspen i mean emulsion almond oil emulsion first of all you had study almond oil is an example for fixed oil fixed oil in case of fixed oil almond oil is a fixed oil fixed oil the proportion the ratio of oil water gum is 4 is to 2 is to 1 4 is to 2 is to 1 in case of fixed oil example for fixed oils are almond oil castor oil arakis oil cod liver oil cod liver oil now the next one volatile oil volatile oils in case of volatile oil the proportion the same proportion oil water gum oil water gum is in case of volatile oil 2 is to 2 is to 1 2 is to 2 is to 1 example for volatile oil are turpentine oil peppermint oil cinnamon oil now mineral oil mineral oil in case of mineral oil the a proportion the ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1 example for mineral oil is liquid paraffin liquid paraffin liquid paraffin is the example for uh, mineral oil now we will move to the no before that this one the correct answer i already told 4 is to 2 is to 1 almond oil 4 is to 2 is to 1 correct answer is option a now we will move to the next question question number 9 which of the following is cationic emulsifying agent this one we all talked cationic is uh, coming under synthetic emulsifying agent synthetic emulsifying cationic anionic non ionic here we will see the different example for cationics uh, cationics anionics as well as non ionics there are three type of classification this uh, three types are the example for cationics are anionic cationic non ionic first we will see the anionic that is sodium lauryl sulfate sodium lauryl sulfate one good example then are soaps different type of soaps that is alkali soaps or metallic soap all all are coming under this category then sulfated alcohols are also coming anionic surfac anionic emulsifying agent in case of cationic one is citrimide then citrimide then benzalkonium chloride benzalkonium quaternary ammonium compound benzalkonium chloride benzalkonium chloride then non ionic is example are uh, glyceryl esters as well glyceryl esters 
glycerol esters as well as sorbitan sorbit sorbitan as sorbitan esters also sorbitan glycerol esters then citrimide and benzalkonium chloride are example for cationic anionic sodium lauryl sulfate and various soaps are coming under anionic now the question was which of the following is a cationic emulsifying agent options are sodium lauryl sulfate this is anionic then next one is citrimide this is the correct answer citrimide is the cationic glycerol monosterate that is glycerol compounds are coming under non ionic non ionic sorbitan is also coming under non ionic non ionic so here cationic is citrimide now we will move to the next question question number 10 find out the antioxidant used in the emulsion antioxidant used in the emulsion options are gallic acid citrimide chloroprazole all of the above antioxidant used in the emulsion is option a gallic acid another example for the antioxidant used in the emulsion is tocopherol 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 is another example then propyl gallate ascorbic acid ascorbic acid now we will move to the next question silversen mixer silversen mixer is used for the preparation of silversen mixer is used for the preparation of options are emulsion suspension oil in water type emulsion water in oil type emulsion the correct answer is emulsion silversen mixer is used for the preparation of emulsion that is the most appropriate answer here next one question number 12 what are the problems of emulsion during storage what are the problems of emulsion during storage cracking creaming phase inversion then all of the above cracking creaming phase inversion and all of the above the correct answer for this question is all of the above all of the above these things are very important cracking creaming and phase inversions are very important now we will move to the next question question number 13 the upward movement of dispersed globule here you have to see upward movement of dispersed globule to form a thick layer at the surface of emulsion at the surface of the emulsion is known as cracking creaming phase inversion and capping capping is related with tablet this one we already discussed in the processing of tablet in that chapter now here cracking creaming phase inversion upward movement at the surface of the emulsion is creaming creaming is the creaming now we will move to the next question viscosity of the medium is related to the rate of creaming viscosity is related to rate of creaming by directly proportional inversely proportional no relation same like density difference the correct answer is inversely proportional this is according to the stokes law stokes law stokes law viscosity is inversely proportional to the rate of creaming stokes law now we will move to next question question number 15 the freezing of an emulsion should be avoided freezing of the emulsion should be avoided because it may lead to creaming cracking phase inversion and of the above the correct answer freezing may cause cracking while increasing the temperature while temperature increase temperature increase will cause creaming here freezing will cause cracking while temperature increase will cause creaming i mean uh, creaming so thank you guys for watching this video i uh, hope you understood all the point this is very important chapter try to understand all this and if you don't know the answer of these questions please uh, note it down in the notebook your notes so thank you for watching this video thanks